This is an implementation of a bubble cursor by Dina Wetzler at MIT. This implementation is done as described in the research paper by Grossman and Balakrishnan. There are two main modes for running the software I've created implementing the bubble cursor. The first is the warm-up mode, which consists of six trials. I merely move the cursor to the target and click it six times, and I can see, once I've done that, the details about the trials. So let's look at the Virabug console where I've logged the data. I can look at the parameters, for instance, the amplitude, the target density, the number of mistakes made before achieving the desired goal, as well as the time taken to achieve the goal. So all of this information can be used for the analysis portion of the project. In addition to the warm-up mode, I've implemented a test mode, which I'll show you now with the point cursor as opposed to the bubble cursor. So this control cursor still, when hovering over a target, will color that target, but it does not have the bubble cursor. So we can see that I click on the target and it randomly creates another scene with those given conditions. The way I choose the conditions is exactly as implemented in the paper, where I have 27 combinations of the parameters density, effective width to width ratio, target size, and I do 9 trials for each of those combinations with varying amplitudes. 